All right, what's up guys? So today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I put a, a tachometer in a classic car truck. In my case, this is gonna be a Mercury, which is gonna be a Ford. So that's gonna be pretty much the same for all uh, 70s, 80s, early 90s pickups and cars with that are gonna have the 302 in them. I'm sure it's same for the uh, 289 as well and any other small block up to the 351 as well. This car currently has a 302 in it, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. And this is gonna be uh, for the cars that do not have HEI. These are gonna be for points distributors. So the quick, quickest thing you could do is pop open your fuse panel. If you do have open fuses from the factory, I know some cars didn't come with them, but if you did, that's gonna be an easy way to get some accessory power uh, for your gauge, but I didn't do that. In my case, what I did was I popped my radio off, and it's gonna be these four bolts Currently, this has an aftermarket radio in it, but if you do not have an aftermarket radio, I'm sure you can look up the wiring diagram and tap into the accessory wire, the ground wire, and then you're gonna have an illumination wire as well. You can either tap that into the headlights, which is gonna be in the headlight switch under here. I didn't do that since the radio has an illumination wire. Uh, the illumination wire is typically gonna be orange. Uh, the accessory is gonna be red, and then black is gonna obviously be ground. And you could tap all those in there with T-splices, uh, any other, any splice you want, just make sure it is secure. And then if you do that, you should get some kind of power out of this. But this gauge is going to come with four wires. Uh, the wiring diagram for this certain, uh, this is an auto gauge unit. This is going to have a wiring diagram. Uh, there's also different switches depending if you have a four, six or eight cylinder. It is pre-wired for the eight cylinder option. And then this is going to be the wiring diagram. White on um, this gauge is going to go up to your orange, which is going to be your uh, dash lighting. Red is going to be the switch on, or you could put that on the fuse block. As here, you could take a multimeter and you can test that out yourself depending on your application. Black is going to be ground. You can bolt that up to any ground bolt if you need to, depending if your car is a radio or not. And then green is going to be your ignition coil. And for the ignition coil, it's going to go up to your negative terminal. In my case, I am going to be using this uh, 2301 auto gauge tachometer. This is by Autometer. This is like their budget option. Uh, the reason I chose this one is because it is chrome. And I did band clamp that onto the uh, steering wheel since they do include hardware for it. But uh, I don't really want to drill screws into my, uh, into my steering wheel since this is a nice low miles car. Uh, I know these are becoming a little bit more uh, popular. So I didn't want to go ahead and deface it like that. But... So once you have those three wires hooked up, uh, you just take that green wire. They only include about a foot of the wire, so you are going to have to pick up some more wire just to get it through the firewall and up to the coil, depending on your location. But what I did on my car, this is going to be the same for the Crown Vicks and the Town Cars. I'm sure you could do it also with the uh, pickups as well, similar firewall uh, positioning. Is just run that wire out over the... Uh, over to here is where I chose because it's gonna have a little bit less heat going to it. And then right here is going to be your negative side of the coil. Now, the good thing about these Ford products is they do determine which one is going to be the negative and which one's going to be the positive. And how they do that is not only by the color, but they also have them marked. This one's a little bit dirty for the positive, but you can see the clear dash for the negative. And what I did was I stripped back a little bit of the uh, insulation. I didn't cut the wire, uh, but I did strip it back and then I did wrap around my uh, wire for the gauge and then it does give it a good connection but you do want to make sure you wrap it up uh, properly with the heat resistant electrical tape and then once you go ahead and do all of that you can just come into your car and turn your key and then as you can see I do have lights on and you go ahead and crank your car up and it works Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.